Hey class, I wanted to pop in to say a few words about Beowulf. Um, Beowulf is a very old text, which you'll, you'll be obviously able to tell just from looking at it. The text itself was one of very few that were found. Um, obviously, if you're reading the period notes, what you'll see is that um, shortly after the, the turn in 43 AD, the Roman Empire kind of left Britain, which um, is very important, kind of the original bre Brexit, if you will. It was left and essentially was not really ruled by anyone until almost a thousand years later when William the Conqueror came and started to return order to things and he put some uh, hierarchy in. So during that, that dark period, Beowulf was written. Uh, we found the text somewhere. Um, if you watch or read or, or anything about Vikings, the Vikings started coming over in somewhere in the 6th and 7th uh, through the 8th and 9th centuries and were trying to basically conquer and pillage and, and plunder and raid, as they call it, a lot of different things. And then among the things they found were the monasteries. And the monasteries had all kinds of riches, you know, golden uh, cups, crucifix, most of them were Christian, and the Vikings, as we know, were not Christian. They were into the Norse gods. They believed in Thor, and that's where we've gotten a lot of that um, mythology. So what happened is as they went around and destroyed a lot of the monasteries, the things that we would have kept or would have read were destroyed because back in the, that time period, the only people that read and and wrote were, were generally monks or holy people or those that were well educated and it was usually about the Bible that they were writing. So this brings into light an interesting phenomenon that we will see in Beowulf. Beowulf is written when obviously the the strongest warrior is your king and these days we don't see that. I think if you looked at our elections now you can tell that we don't necessarily have the strongest warrior in place. Uh, we might have the best mitigator, the best business person, the best lawyer for our president, but they are not going to be out there. Beowulf was there during a time when if you were the strongest warrior, you took over. And so there's a lot of things you can watch if you're interested in this, um, this time period. I watched something on Netflix and you know I know a lot of you all have Netflix these days and it's called Last Kingdom and it explores the, um, a, a person, a man, boy to start with, who is stuck between um, Christianity and pagan gods. He goes back and forth and essentially has to make a decision what's most important to him and what are his values. So Beowulf is kind of that, that blend there because a lot of times we see what is clearly a pagan play, and we see incidents of Christianity pop up. Uh, Beowulf suddenly stops after a win to give all thanks to God, but all the while Beowulf is clearly not all that Christian in and of itself, and so we have to look at it and wonder, was it originally written that way, or was it found at a time when someone took it and, is, and inserted Christianity into it? So that leads me to believe that one of two things happened. One, somebody fixed it before it became popular to, uh, to the masses. Or it leads me to believe that it was written at a time where somebody was afraid of the government and didn't want to be pagan, so they added it in there. Uh, because obviously the church was the ruling class, and they made sure that if you didn't believe what they believed, then you were gone. You could figure out how, obviously. So Beowulf's an interesting play. It's a long play. And a lot of the words that you'll see might be difficult to understand. You will see certain things like a, excuse me, like a kenning. A kenning is a type of device that you'll see used. Um, if you see something like sea, like um, sea road, it's talking about the ocean. Um, it's not necessarily the sea or a road, but they're calling it that. And kenning combines two words and uses them to essentially express something else. So if you see a word that's a kenning with a um, hypo with a sorry where it's connected basically you're looking at a kenning and you want to make sure you understand that. The other thing you'll see is that um, Beowulf is not afraid to die. They were from a time when 
you know, the you want to have a good death, a good death, a good strong death. In Christianity, we believe that you go to heaven for doing good deeds, whereas in a lot of the pagan religions, they believe in something along the lines of Valhalla, and Valhalla is where the warriors would go after they died. Now, if you were stabbed in the back, if you died in your sleep from being old, whatever it was, a lot of people would believe that if you died a good death, a hero's death, you would go to Valhalla, and Valhalla was the best place you could go. So as you're looking at Beowulf, first of all, look at it for the sake, for the idea that there are monsters, right? Grendel's a monster. Uh, Christian religions don't believe in monsters, even though Grendel is a monster from a biblical reference, and you'll catch it. Um, the other thing is it's a little confusing, so figure out that and guide yourself to the discussion board because the discussion board is going to ask you that question. And what you'll do is, is cite something from Beowulf and kind of just say, you know, it doesn't seem Christian in nature, it seems inserted because it almost seems as if they're stopping and aside and saying this is now Christian and we're going to insert that in there. So enjoy Beowulf for what it is. Don't watch the movie with Angelina Jolie. I mean you can but it's not very good and it's not a very accurate representation of the actual play itself so it's extra. I wouldn't call it a replacement. I did put a video down that might help you because a lot of times when you all are visual learners it'll help to see the play acted out. I think that might be helpful. Feel free to use Spark Notes if you've not been to Schmoop, S-H-M-O-O-P, you should visit. It's got a nice satirical kind of uh, vibe to it that you might like. And definitely make sure that you're reading the period notes and that you're visiting the Norton site because they have all kinds of great things that could be a lot of help. Alright, good luck with Beowulf and happy posting.